Hi, everybody. I am going to tell you briefly about a contest I held on my DeviantArt page and the results of that contest. So the contest itself was inspired by a creative assignment from my biology class. The objective was to get people more involved in sustainability and perhaps show that we can make a difference in how we treat our world. After receiving the assignment, I decided a contest would be a good way to go, you know, get people more involved. So I posted a journal with the details and the prizes, which included some requests from yours truly, and asked people to send me pictures if they completed one of the challenges. Here are the results. First level participants had the rather easy task to simply take a picture of their gathered trash or recycling over the course of a couple weeks. This was to get a better idea of how different households recycle and to maybe encourage people to pay more attention to how much trash they tend to generate. Trash is a rather troublesome product of humanity, particularly plastic trash. So it was interesting to see the reports from people and the amount each household produced in only a week or two. When I first posted the contest, a lot of people said that they could totally do that first assignment, especially since their house already recycled, and I was happy to hear that, of course. But still, uh, there were maybe mm, two or three people who said, uh, we don't recycle, so this could be a good opportunity to try. Second level participants went a bit further and collected trash around their area. One Patricia Campion, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, and I honestly don't know if that's her real name, I'm going by email names, gathered a trash bag worth of waste from a creek behind their house. A Leaf Frost, uh, again going by email names, and her friends managed to collect two bags of trash from the ravine beside their old middle school. And finally, Swiftbird and their family collected trash from a field, finding four bags worth. Honestly, it was super awesome for these guys to do this challenge, you know, clean up their area. And although it's only a small thing, it still uh, definitely, you know, makes an impact to even just get out there and do this. So, kudos, man. And finally, the third level participants had creative freedom in what they did and ended up doing some really cool things. Uh, Melissa Sky planted a potato garden. Awesome choice. They're very easy to grow and provide great nutrition. Mickey Gray Bay, oh, I don't know if that, that's how you say the name, uh, also planted some uh, plants. Although hers were mainly aesthetic, it's still awesome to be out in the yard planting some oxygen emitters. Uh, oh my god, I can't even. <laughs> Nimhaneo Kinemono, sorry about that terrible pronunciation, had a sunflower planting contest with their family, which is an awesome tradition to have, and I hope that theirs ends up being the tallest, which is apparently the objective of a sunflower growing contest. Finally, Swiftbird, the MVP of this contest, they did every single challenge, created an entire presentation on pollution, deforestation, climate change, and poaching which is awesome and seriously amazing to be spreading awareness. Her slides were full of great info, I'll include some here, and I hope the 4th and 6th grade classes that she presented to paid close attention. All in all, this contest went really well, I think, and I'm super glad some people participated. I told everyone that if this first contest went really well, then I would perhaps make this an annual thing. And I think that that is something that I am going to do. It was awesome to see people get more involved in their community, even in such a small way. And who knows, it could be a way for me to do some requests for people. So I hope the participants enjoyed this contest, and I will definitely be making sure to get their prizes to them within the next couple weeks. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that you all have an awesome rest of your day.